What is going on guys? My name is Ron back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Kaguya Sama Lovers War. This is season two, episode three. Before I jump into this video, I do apologize for two things. Hold on, let me just fix my webcam. Okay, we're good. Um two things, uh my hair. Uh as you guys have know, a lot of things are still not open yet for across the country, at least for where I live. I live in the United States. And so I have not gotten a haircut in quite a while. Therefore my hair is starting to get ridiculously long. I just realized that there's a piece of hair just Sticking out. There you go. Um, and I, I'm not going to bother styling my hair after I just took a shower just after I came back from work. And also, because I just came back from work, I'm a little bit tired. Just a little bit tired. But yeah, I am hoping we can uh, open up soon so I don't have to start looking like a uh, guy who wears a um, beanie all the time. And yeah, I also just want to apologize for being a little bit tired. I'm really damn tired. I'm waiting for this coffee to kick in, um, but I worked a long period, worked a good shift at work, so I'm pretty tired. Uh, but yeah, it helped. It, it, it's good though that I'm still working, so I am thankful for that. But I'm ready to jump into this episode. So guys, without further ado, let's jump in to episode three, season two of Kage Summit Loves War. Starting in three, two, one, let's jam. And of course, any Plex. Also, I heard the show's getting a dub. I can't wait to watch it. Like, I can't r wait to watch it. I really... I like when uh, dubs do uh, comedies. Daddy, daddy, do. I still like the first season opening better. Visually, although there is one scene that is pretty damn good. I'll point it out. It's the scene that everyone knows from this opening. I do find it funny though, like when I actually, uh, instead of the stereotypical three, uh, the American three, I do the, I believe the, cause this is German three, I don't know, I don't know who uses this, um, what part of the world uses three this way, I know, um, this can, I know some Europeans count like one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah, instead of one, two, three, three, I don't know. It's this part. This part is the favorite for everyone. I wonder when we're gonna get Miku. Maki. Maki. Maki? Miko. I can't even forget. We actually haven't seen too much of her lately. It's uh, In the manga, it's been more focused on Kaguya and um, Best Girl, who deserves all the justice, Hayasaka. Oh, is it this episode? Hold on. If it's this episode, we're in for a treat. You're gonna have this is gonna be a good one. If it's the chapter I remember. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chica. That's too cute. Oh, Ishigami. The pessimist. The pessimistic side just constantly. Oh my god, Chica with bunny ears. Listen here, Princess Kaguya. <laughs> Put it by the... Oh 
Ishigami is a fucking bro. Don't worry. Don't worry, Kaguya. Oh, you sadist. <laughs> ah, the fucking Chad moves by <laughs> Shirogane. The fucking Chad. <laughs> you're you're witnessing the chadness that is Shirogane Miyuki when he's in the zone. You don't understand. <laughs> He's looking at the other Kaguya. If you understand that reference, I'm proud of you. Uh, this this is actually progressing a little bit fa faster than I expected. <laughs> I can show you the world shining shimmering splendor that's about all I remember <laughs> And see it. The, <laughs> the fucking Chad. Hold on, Kage. Let me do this for you. You're welcome. <laughs> I remember when I saw this. I actually sent this to. I don't know if he's reacting to this as well, but Lir Games. Um, I sent this to him, and he was like, "This is amazing." He's a fan of uh, Kage. Savor this moment, Kaguya. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know if we were actually going to get the story behind this. <laughs> yeah, boop. I don't really remember much of the actual story, but wasn't she kind of a bitch? Like, when, by the time she was, like, on the earth, like, she was kind of a dick. Again, I mean, I've, I've heard, like, many different iterations of the Tale of Princess Gog, yeah.
Yeah, I don't really... Like, I, I've never actually seen the movie, The Tale of Princess Kaguya. Um, I believe... I think it's... I forgot. It wasn't a Ghibli movie, I don't, I don't think. It's a very unique... Um, You fucking Chad! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe Kage is fucking dead! <laughs> Narrator, and this is when he remembers. <laughs> the food's still fucking split in half. <laughs> oh my god, Chica. Chica. Which one's this one? Oh, we're about to see her! We're finally gonna see her! Okay, so we're getting close to the... The election. I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> oh, shoot, I forgot what that was in French. C'est it mignon? Something like that? C'est it mignon? <laughs> Come on, Fuji, you are, um, we need you to whistle. Oh, is that from the- no, it's not. It is! <laughs> say it, say it, wiener. Yeah, you weren't there, you were, uh... Are you gonna go over? Oh, I remember that for a split second, and then Kage put it on, and he was like, <laughs> Meanwhile, Ishigama's like, I miss all of this. <laughs> Was not the first episode? I think that was the first episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, we all know who the real mastermind is. Subject F. Subject F is the real mastermind. <sighs> she got me with the toilet paper from last episode. Oh. See, I know what's gonna happen. I remember reading this, I was like, are we near the end? This is like, what, 50, 80, 60 some odd chapters ago, maybe? I think we're in the, what, two, 
Two hundreds? No, Chica, you don't get to be sad. You don't get to be sad. <laughs> no. No. Chica. I know how this is turning out, so I ain't crying, but you can't do that, Chica. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Look at me. Don't look at them. It'll be okay. I don't know why I want that voice. It'll be okay. Chica, you don't cry. That should be a terrorist attack. I'd like to claim whoever makes Chica cry is going to be the first to die. Wait, this shouldn't be the end. No, no. It's gonna turn... This is weird, though. I was not expecting this on the third fucking episode. That's the one thing. Ah, uh, yes. The gold lapel. Apparently, that thing's solid gold. I'm really trying hard not to say things that are spoiling. Come by. Kan pai. I don't know why I said kan pai. What's kare sama des? Wait, wait. If it's pure gold, it's actually not that heavy. I mean, because uh, they said it was because it's pure gold, not metaphorically. It's a burden. Oh, that's right. The, the that was also the main reason why um, Shiragani got in to Shujin in the first place. Shujin. Um, yeah, because because he, he was just from the very bottom. He was from the rags. <laughs> oh yes i love chica's just blank face well not real blank face just oh my god <laughs> look at that fucking face but no 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 I, I just love chica's like deadpan smiling face and saying the worst stuff <laughs> Muki He's got the nickname <laughs> Oh man This is amazing How much of a improvement the adaptation does compared to the original source material i'm curious though if this continues as it is because i'm it's still ridiculously popular in both the west and the east yeah um 
if we were to catch up where we are right now in the manga, the manga is going fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> but if they were to continuously bring the end the manga or adapt all the way to where the manga is right now. Because the manga is actually in a very serious subject with um, Kaguya and, um, and Hayasaka. If they were to continue that, I would love to see how they would adaptate it, ad adapt it. Main reason why is because the adaptation, I think, up until where we are right at this current second, right as I'm watching this, has been better. Like, look at that. That's fucking clean. We're not gonna end on a somber note, because I know I know what's gonna happen next episode, based on, since, you know, I've read the manga. Meanwhile, Cheek is in the background. Mata <laughs> Ashta. I will admit, this is a fan. They are really pushing on the emotions in this more than, way more than I remember the manga. Granted, I forgot how long the election lasted. I think, what, five chapters? Maybe? No, I think it's even lower. Uh, you know, I might be totally wrong. I'm not, I don't really remember, but we're gonna see the villain, I guess, soon. And I do say that extremely loosely. Okay, so like legitimately He's going to be entering for the presidency once again. But he got her. Shiragana's victory. Absolutely. So he was waiting... Now he's steeled himself. He was like, yeah, I'm going to go fight. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see her. Okay, why am I drawing a blank? It's Maki, right? It's a Maki. Almost positive that's her name. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. I'm most positive it's Maki. Yeah, it's Maki. No, it's not Maki. Oh, it's not Maki. Oh my god. Isn't it Miko then? I know it starts with an M. Oh my god, what's the name? Hold on. I'm legit... It Miko. It's 
Miko. Maki, Miku, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. I already know. I already know you motherfuckers are down in the comment section be like... Well, actually, Ramen, uh, it's actually Miko, not Maki. Maki's the other character. Bitch, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I get the characters mixed up. We don't, we, I see her surname more than anything, Eno. I see her surname almost entirely. And we haven't really seen her much lately because of, you know, development between Hayasaka and Kaguya. Cut me some slack. <laughs> and Maki, Miku, M Miko... Very similar. And Maki just sounds better rolling off the tongue. Cuts me some slack. <laughs> but yeah, alright, so. For the people who don't want to be spoiled, click away now. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section below at 40 o'clock. Um, click off though. Really appreciate you. You mean a lot. But, for the people who have read the manga or don't care about spoilers, yes, we are going to be getting the tournament arc. No, not really. We're actually going to be getting the... I'm, I'm going to be guessing this is probably going to run for two episodes. Um, predicting. Um, we're going to be getting the uh, beginning of the election. Uh, the presidential election. The student council presidential election. Um, where it's going to be Miko. Miko. Mika just sounds better. Miko versus Shirogane. And I really don't remember how I, I remember how it ends, um, and and the outcome between the two parties, but I don't really remember a lot about the in betweens. Only some bits and pieces. Like I said, I think it ran on for about four or five chapters. I could be wrong. Um, like I said, I've never reread, um, in quite a long time. In fact, the time I reread it, the reread the series, it had actually been before this had actually happened in the manga. So I actually am curious as to see what's going to happen in between because I remember how it ends, and I, I they haven't really changed anything. The only thing they did is enhance the viewing experience. Like this whole last episode with the whole we are in this sad mood i remember it briefly but they definitely um made it more of an impact emotionally uh for the viewer um so kudos to a1 pictures i'm a1 pictures that do this right um absolutely phenomenal they knocked it out of the park um still i will constantly say that the adaptation is better than the original source which is an extremely rare thing to do um because i thought that you couldn't make Kaguya some as funny and as detailed as you can and they actually showed in this that they can do a serious tone which is why it brought me up to my main point which is big spoilers please don't like like unless you like one unless you don't care um or you've or caught up in the manga so right now Kaguya and Hayasaka are basically on the run um, from the rest of the Shirogane household um including the brothers I believe and we got introduced to the oldest and the youngest. Um, and they're pieces of shit. <laughs> they're all pieces of shit. Um, and I think we actually saw that briefly in the first season, I believe, when Kage was summoned to the main household. Um, but uh, it's a very serious turn uh, tone. And the way that Aka, the mangaka and the author... Um, is able to balance comedy and seriousness at the exact same time in a chapter is fantastic. In an episode, that makes that's that's much easier to do um, because tonal shifts are much easier to do in an anime medium, I believe. But in a manga, especially when it's chapter by chapter, and the fact that it can make me laugh and then be like, oh shit, what's going to happen next, is a testament to his writing ability. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go wrap it up here before this video takes too much longer. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the current standing of the manga and how I think it is one of the best ongoing manga from start to finish where I my enjoyment has just exponentially gotten higher and higher as it's gone longer and longer. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm not going to be streaming today. I usually stream on Saturdays. I usually only stream once a week because busy. Uh, but I'm not going to be streaming today. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm back to being ridiculously busy at work. Uh, 
And yeah, uh, so I do apologize for not being as uppity or a lot of energy as I normally am, but I, I did have fun <laughs> watching this episode regardless. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the um, ep of the episode in the comment section below. And as always, have a good day. See you. I'll see you guys next time.